you have to switch your closet from summer to fall winter if you live somewhere with a change of seasons before you go shopping i'm going to tell you where you're going to stop first it's right here in your closet we live in the city in a smallish apartment for three people so I share the closet with my husband, or as he'd like to say, he sublets for me. Yes, it's true. Look, this is his half. It's very sad. He only gets a quarter, but he's a great man, and he allows me to have most of the closet. All right, why do I tell you this? Well, we switch our wardrobe, meaning I don't have all my winter clothes out all year, but even if you do, this is gonna work for you. You are going to shop first, in your closet because I guarantee you most of the trends from winter are still current this fall. That it also gives you the opportunity to edit your closet. For example, I realized I don't need any more cream color sweaters because I have three and I guarantee you in here there's a fourth one I haven't seen. Also, chunky sweaters are back. I bought this last fall. And the chunky sweaters are coming with some kind of detail. You already have this in your closet. I also heard in the trends, or saw in the trends, that color is really big for the winter, for fall too. I already have this pant in here that I bought maybe two falls ago. All I may need is a different top that I may purchase at La Target to keep it real and, and then be trendy for fall 2021 and winter 2022. Same thing with a chunky sweater that's in bright colors that I also bought last year. So I do this seasonally. This also allows you to do one of my favorite things, which is to start putting a lookbook together. I did a video about this. You can check it out right here. And what I did is that I pretty much put all my clothing out and mix and match, take pictures, put it in a lookbook, check out that video, you're gonna love it. Let's go outside so you can see the pieces that are still trendy this fall that I found in my closet. All right, so I brought out some pieces that are still trendy this fall and winter, but are also staples for the fall, so pay attention. Listen, if you live in this weather and you don't have a plethora of turtlenecks, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I know a lot of you are gonna tell me the turtlenecks make you feel like you're choking, Buy them in cotton. I have them in cotton and merino wool because this is not um, too itchy. So I love a good turtleneck because I can wear it with a jacket or without, and it just, it even avoids me getting a scarf. All right, I've also seen that animal print is still very hot. You're not gonna believe this. I bought this two years ago or three at Target. And because I kept the lines simple, this will be perfect for this season too. I've been looking on websites and all I see are like browns and earth tones and I wanted a chunky brown sweater. Oh, I have to get a chunky brown sweater. Well, guess what? When I brought out all my clothing for fall and winter, I had bought this last year. Yeah, I already have the chunky brown sweater. There it is. I saved money. Cling! Leather jackets are all in, always have been. I bought this one years ago at Nordstrom for an anniversary sale and I bought it in a burgundy. This is like a wine color, it may look purple for you, but this is perfect and it's super trendy this year again. Had it in my closet. Another trend that doesn't seem to leave us is this type of sweater. The long one that you wear with skinny jeans or with leggings. Also had it in my closet and I even have one that's sleeveless from Target that I've had for about six years. It's gray, but this also takes me back to the idea of how you shop. If you shop for these things with the lines that look good on you, with the prints that you love, you're gonna wanna wear them over and over again. And then the only thing you have to do, for example, is get if the jeans that are in style now that we all know are like the wide-legged jeans or the high-waisted jeans, then you can just purchase those jeans. And if you really wanna buy that sweater vest that everyone's wearing that I think will look super ugly on me, then go buy it. And then you can have the money to spend it on those trends that are specifically for this year. Tell me what is your secret to not spend a lot of money but still stay trendy? What do you think about these tips? Do you really, really hate a turtleneck? Because this makes me so happy. And also, if you haven't seen my video about the, <laughs> 
real coats you need for a Midwest winter, check them out right here. If you haven't subscribed, ding, do it now and leave me your comments. What do you want to see so we can keep it real together?